In today's how-to video, I'm going to show you how to create a product ad on Amazon. So to start with, you just need to go to your advertising dashboard on Amazon. That's found at advertising.amazon.com or .co.uk or whatever country you're in. If this is the first time you're going to your advertising dashboard, you'll have to enter a little bit of information such as tax info to get started making ads. But once you've done that, you'll be taken to the advertising dashboard, which looks a little bit like this. So this is my US dashboard. And as you can see along the top, it shows the amount of money I've spent, the amount of orders I've got, and lots of other information if we wanted to find out. But in order to create a product ad, what we need to do is click this button, which is create campaign. In here, you've got three types of campaign. You've got sponsored products, sponsored brands, and lock screen ads. Sponsored products are what we're gonna focus on today. They're your product and keyword ads. Sponsored brands allows you to promote your brand with multiple listings. And lock screen ads are shown on Kindles or e-reader devices when it's on a lock screen. From what I've experienced, those aren't as effective. So my recommendation would be to focus on the sponsored product ads. So we click continue, and then straight away, you have the opportunity to do a custom ad text or a standard ad text. A custom ad text allows you to add more information and your own hook, but we're just gonna go for a standard ad today. You need to give your ad group a name. So we're gonna advertise my Christmas short story called At Santa. So we're gonna name it Santa Products. Then you go down to your products and you select the book that you want to advertise. And then you come down to the targeting. Now an automatic ad will do all of the targeting for you. That will include product ads and keyword ads. But what we're gonna to do today is create a manual product ad. And so we need to click manual targeting. Then below we've got the opportunity to do keywords or products. We're gonna do products. Within here, we've got two main types of product targetings that we can do. We can target by category. So if we scroll down, you'll see that that's the category on Amazon. So we've got things like British short stories and horror short stories. But what we're gonna to do today is focus on individual products. So on here, you've got some suggested books to target. You can enter the list of ASINs if you have them to hand, but the best way to get started is by searching. So to get started, you can either use a suggested bid, a custom bid, or a default bid. This might take a little bit of experience to get used to the bid amounts, but what I recommend is when you get going, don't bid too high. And the benefit of doing product ads that I've found so far is you can get some cheaper clicks. So for this one, I'm gonna set my bid to 21 cents. I often just add an extra one just so I'm out competing those who set their bids to like 20 cents. So that's just something that I tend to do. But this is a Christmas horror short story. So if we do horror short story, we can see all of the different types of books in here. So we've got a custom bid here. Amazon's telling us the suggested bid. So this one's quite high but there's no harm in just advertising against it anyway. So we're gonna start adding some products. And so you can add up to 10,000 different products in a single ad. So you can pretty much add as many as you want. So I would advise taking a little bit more time and effort with your targeting of these ads. But here I've been very loose and just done something quick to show you. And I've got 1,050 different products to target. I'm bidding 21 cents on every single one of those books. And there's also an extra section here just below the bid amount and it's whether you're targeting exact or expanded now the exact will only target that specific book that you're targeting whereas expanded will target that exact book but also some that are similar to it so the expanded option is generally what i would select because that gives you more chance of getting more views and more clicks but if you want to target literally specific books with your ads you'd want to select the exact option. When you've targeted all of your products, you can also add negative product targeting. For the product targeting, I don't think this is really needed because you're selecting which ones you want to target. But if you wanted to make sure that you're not targeting a certain author or something, you can include those here. Scrolling down to the bottom section, you've got the bidding strategy. Now you've got three options here. You've got up and down, down only, and fixed bids. 
up and down will take that 21 cent bid and bid up to double that amount. So a 21 cents bid can actually go up to 42 cents per click, but then it can also go down to one cent per click as well. Down only means the maximum will be 21 cents and it can go down to one cents. And a fixed bid means that every single click will cost you 21 cents. I tend to do down only because I bid the amount that I'm willing to spend per click and I don't really want it to go above that amount. But then what you can do, which is often nice to get more impressions and more clicks, is adjust your bid by placement. So this works better for keyword ads, but if we wanted to bid more than that 21 cents, if we knew that it was gonna appear at the top of search, we could increase the bid by say 100%. That means that our 21 cents bid would be 21 cents wherever it's clicked on, except for if it's at the top of search, then it can be up to 42 cents. But for this, it doesn't really matter because it's a product ad. So we are just gonna leave that at zero. Then you need to give your campaign a name. So this is so you know what book the campaign's for. So I'll call it Santa. You can add a portfolio. This allows you to keep similar products categorized quite nicely so you can see what's performing and what's not performing very well quite quickly. And then you can select the start date and end date. Seeing as this is for a Christmas book, we're only running it until Christmas day. Finally, you need to set yourself a daily budget. Generally, Amazon isn't gonna spend all of this, but just to be safe, make sure you're not putting like $1,000. I generally start with a budget of around $10, but I wouldn't expect Amazon to spend that much per day. Then you click launch campaign. And then once you've launched it, you'll be taken to this page, just saying, it, well done, it's launched successfully. And this has all of the key information of what you've just set up. If you want to edit the campaign, you can click edit here, or actually you can go to campaign manager. And that is your product ad completely set up. And if we click on the campaign, you can see that's the campaign name. And then within this campaign is your ad group called Santa products. Now, over time, all of your results will appear here. Amazon will tell you how many impressions you've got, how many clicks you've got, and how many orders you received as well. It might take a few hours just for it to be reviewed and for it to be published. But then once that's happened, well done, your ads will start serving and you've just made a product ad on Amazon. For the next video, we're gonna go into keyword ads. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and stick around for the next video.